Welcome to Dirkson Photography. My name is Janis Dirksen and today I want to make some advertisement for my video course. Now, what is that? I've made this course for people who are serious about photography, who say photography means something to me. I want to be better in it. So how can I do it? And usually, like I myself, I put money into things that I can touch. So maybe a new camera, maybe a new lens, the technical stuff. And we are mostly looking for things that are new. Oh, is there a new camera model? Is there a new lens? Is there a new flash system? And I have created this video course because I think that when you master editing, it doesn't matter which camera you use. And you can save a lot of money by keeping what you already have and just adding the editing part to it. Being better in editing instead of buying new cameras that have a little bit more frame rates, a little bit better dynamic range, two SD card slots or whatsoever. And um, in this video, I want to show you some images that I have edited and created with this course. Many of these edit, many of these images I'm going to show you are included in the video course. So um, I want to give you an impression how the images look before and how they look after the editing. And all images are edited in under 20 seconds. So no image that you see that I create was edited longer than 20 seconds. All these images under 20 seconds. Some images, five seconds editing. So let's take a look. All these images that I show you at first are unedited straight from the camera and I chose images that don't look so nice where I messed up <laughs> because you can take pictures, great pictures straight from the camera that look great and I usually do that but sometimes you know we get something like this. It's too dark, it's a nice moment actually at the beach in Spain but it's too dark and I don't see much. So when we edit this it looks like this. And this is just a typical example of some images that are too dark. How can we uh, make them better? How can we make them look good? How can we make them look bright and sunny and beautiful? This is just an example. Now what's the other uh, end of the road? The other end of the road is too bright. Now here I was in Granada in Spain, where I also took the, the, the series of these images and uh, I walked along the street, saw these two buildings and took a picture and I saw way too bright. It's way too bright. I can't use it anymore. It's, uh, it's not a good picture. And so this is how it looks like straight from the camera. And I printed them just to show you how they really look like. And I think it's a different feel to it when you print something compared to blending them in on the screen. So I thought I'm going to print some images. This is the after. This is the same image from the same position shot with the same camera, the same settings. It's the same image, but with under 20 seconds of editing to it. And imagine your image looks like this and you think I'm going to buy a new camera and it looks better. It probably will not look like this. Not with a new camera, not with a new lens. But with your edit editing skills, when you invest into that, this is possible with any image. You can get great colors, beautiful exposure, even when the image is too bright. Next one. This is way too cold. It doesn't feel right. It's also in Spain. It's summer. It's, it's a beautiful place in Malaga. And I think this image is way too cold. I like it warm. I want to see the scenery and the the plants on the ground and so I edit it like this. This is then the, the edited image and I think it's way warmer. Now you might say it's not a perfect image but I think every image has a quality to it and sometimes you see it right away straight from the camera and sometimes the image needs your help. And you can do that in editing. I edit all images in Adobe Lightroom. And um, let's take a look at some black and white images also. Many of these images I took with a cheap camera 
But this one I took with the Canon 5D Mark I from 2005. And you don't see which camera I use for which image. You don't see that. And um, I wanted to use cheap cameras in the course so that I show you that you don't need an expensive camera. You can buy a, a, a used camera, an old one with one lens and the video calls and Lightroom and you can get images like this. Now, of course, it's also, every image has certain characteristics that make it special. It might be the people in the image, like a wedding is something special. You don't get that every day. You can photograph that every day. So uh, this is something special, just the moment. Look at the dress. It's a very beautiful moment. So the, what, is in the, what actually happens in the moment is part of the image. The angle is part of the image. The focal length, which lens do you use? This is 135 millimeter f2.0 at f2.0. So getting close to the face, the emotion, bl blending everything out, blurring everything else out. And so the, the perspective is important as well. Am I near? Am I close? Am I far away? Uh, the weather is important. The colors, now in black and white, the colors don't matter so much, but every image has a certain characteristic and images we like also have a certain char characteristic and they work in a certain way. Now this is also a black and white image. Every image uh, you can also trans translate into black and white easily with the with the course and usually when i'm on a wedding um just like let me just show you when i'm on a wedding um, the couple gets all images in black and white also and for me as a photographer it's just a couple of clicks to get over a thousand images in black and white it's just a couple of clicks and it's all in the video course all or many of these images that i showed you are also in the video course included over 200 raw images. So you can actually edit the same images I edit and get the same results so you can practice it. Now take a look at these images here on the wall. Beautiful colors, very sunny, lovely. I like the expression of joy. I like joy in my life, giving it and receiving it and looking at it. And I think these are beautiful images, beautiful color. Now you might say, oh, this is a beautiful moment. Uh, with the green and the blue and actually it looks like this Now this is not the same image because you see the clouds are, are different, but I, I Promise you this image unedited looks like this one uh, Whenever I take these pictures here outside of the from the balcony It's always dark here, and it's always nice here and with the editing it's 10 seconds, and it's like this and you can't get this image much better when you buy a new camera but you can get this image much better with the same camera you got you can get to this one just with the editing course now you might say he just wants to sell and uh, i never actually do anything for money that's not my motive i want to become a role model that is what i want that's why i do these videos on youtube so one day somebody says i want to be like that guy talking to people on the streets in germany and then when that is becoming too easy, how can we make it more difficult? So let's go to the Netherlands. But that is English and English you can also speak. So let's go to France, talking to people on the streets of France, photographing them. Then in Italy and then in Spain and then in Greece, I want to become a role model. I, money is not my motive. And I'd love to do everything for free. Every wedding I do, I would love to do for free. And I think uh, someday I will. But I also believe that you have to pay a price to get something of value. I remember a neighbor who lives above us. Uh, he's a lawyer. And he called me once and said, Janis, uh, with your dr dress, what kind of, uh, what size do you have for suits? And I told him my size and he said, oh great, come over. I, I came over and he gave me 10 suits and he said he never fitted into these suits. <laughs> he all bought them too small and he hoped that he would lose weight someday and he didn't. So he gave me all these new suits and I didn't know the brands and I looked them up and I, and I saw that they all started nearly about 800, 900,000 euros and uh, very expensive uh, clothing. And with the time, 
I tried some of the clothing, but just a couple of times, and with it, over the month, I threw them away. I, I gave them away because it, I didn't have any value to it because I was giving them for free. Although he, the, the neighbor gave me suits in form in money in terms of seven, eight thousand euros. It didn't feel, I didn't feel anything, any value because I didn't pay anything for it. So I think that if I give you this course for free, you might not actually appreciate it that much. And I don't put a price tag to much of what I do, but to this I do. And this is now the German DVD box. And here are three DVDs, all eight gigabyte. So it's over 20 gigabyte. The English version is two DVDs, but also big DVDs. So it's 16, nearly 16 gigabyte and it's 129 euros. And I want to give you it as download version for 89.95. So you get hours of editing. You will master Lightroom. It's not about presets. It's about, I, my sky is too bright. How can I get it blue? The color is too cold. How do I get it warm? How do I get an emotion into the picture? Which tools in Lightroom can I use to get there? And how can I get there very quickly? So this I took in Spain, also where Anna lives and uh, where we are often. And it was a cloudy day. It was gray and it's a beautiful place, but it looks really boring and uh, lonely and sad. That's the emotion that I get. I don't want to be here. Now, when I edit it, it's the same image. Now take a look at this. It looks so much different, but it's the same image. And I think there is so much power in editing and I know how to do it. And so the course is my way to help you to learn it too. What else do we have here? So let's take a look if I got some more images. I got two more images here of Anna that we took also in Spain. So again, uh, in the course you don't learn one style, you learn many styles and you can then choose which style you like. Um, I love strong colors, but you don't have to do that. You can also do it uh, in a way, way less color a little bit more serious if you like. You learn everything about it. Everything and now about photography you will learn so that your images can look like mine in only 10 to 20 seconds of editing. And so if you like to get the DVD course or as download version, I can give you the download version for 89.95. Just write me to service at yorksongphotography.com and um, I will give you all information you need. And so the next time when you're on holidays, your images might look like this. Now, now let me see that I can hold it. Now, of course, it's, it's, it's a great place and it's a beautiful, uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beach, <laughs> there's water and there are two people standing there. And I, this is how I envision me in uh, 30 years so that I and Anna are, are sitting on the beach where she grew up, the same uh, town. And maybe our son is taking the picture. So he takes this picture here and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think editing is a really great way to express your photography, your style. And if you struggle with editing, I can help you. If you are new to it, I can also help you. All the editing here that you see, all the images, you will get these results in the first day. It's not something that you have to go through for months. You start in the morning with the video course and in the evening your images look like this. You have the images in the video course as raw files, over 200. So you can practice it and you can get the same results with the same images because I show you how to get there easy, fast and on time always. Thank you very much.